what are we? Oh, We're a stunt crew. Whoa. That's fucking big boy shit. That's serious. The feeling you get from doing it is unparalleled to anything else on this earth. Wow! Adrenaline, I guess. I guess that's what you call it. Get out of your comfort zone. Are you good to drive a car for real? Yeah. I trust you? Yeah. Adrenaline gives you a rush. And when you're given a rush, you are made to feel alive. And when you feel alive, you are exciting to be around. In the past, I was certainly getting my fair share of adrenaline doses via skateboarding. I even became quite addicted, and then I got clean. However, there are still people out there who live day to day by the adrenaline lifestyle. And as a result, adrenaline can be very, very positive for the well being. So, I'm gonna go try to, you know, siphon some of their adrenaline for me. And uh, hopefully as a result, become a better man. to get an adrenaline fix with POR Stunts. So in order to get a rush of adrenaline, I'm heading to POR Stunts, also known as the world's most dangerous stunt group. Oh, so you might remember from a previous episode of Better Man, I met with POR Stunts at the gathering of the Juggalos. However, uh, that got cut short due to the intervention of the police. You can't back a car up for shit. But lucky for me, they have been gracious enough to invite me to their place of residence where no one can stop us. To prepare for all of today's stunts, the guys asked me to meet them at a local hardware store where we would buy all of the necessary materials. How's it going? Yes, how's it going? We're gonna break them anyway, right? Light tubes. That would be in the lighting department. Most of this stuff's getting broken. That's a good box. Yeah, that's good. That's a lot of boxes. Oh, they're all five dollars. We're saving fifteen dollars right here, man. Nice. A lot of the stuff we're buying is gonna be used to break. Let's do light tubes now. That would be in the lighting department. So we're good. We got everything. So most of the stuff we're buying is to be broken, pretty much. It's crazy because legit all this stuff is going to be broken, you know? For sure. Now that we had everything we needed for the day, it was just a short drive over to the POR Stunt House. Hi. How's it going? Good to see you again. I'm doing great. I just found, found five dollars. $5. If you wanted to get a dose of adrenaline, this was the place to go. Nice. Pretty excited for today. <laughs> crazy Mike, as he was known, wanted me to be a part of his first stunt but it involved fire blowing, which I did not know how to do. As long as you can spit in that spray mist, you can easily do that. There's a reason he's called Crazy Mike, and he's certainly no stranger to fire. One time he did a stunt that did not go according to plan, and he broke his neck, his collarbone, his lower back, his pelvis, his ribs, his sternum, both arms, and he also suffered two collapsed lungs and second degree burns. So you're gonna be up on a roof with me. You're gonna spit fire at me, but I'm gonna be completely gassed up. So I'm gonna be like this big ball of flame. And I'm gonna jump right off that roof, right onto those boxes, and hopefully make it to this baby pool. Try one last time. Right, let me try one last time. I think you do this. Alright, try one last time. Alright, last one. I think I got it. Alright, last one. Yeah, I think you got it. Yeah, yeah, think, yeah. This was my first time having to prove myself since I messed up the car stunt, and I was nervous. I didn't want to let the guys down again, and this also was much riskier than backing up a car. So exactly how you're spraying that water yeah. is going to be lamp oil. Don't ever swallow it. Yeah. Just keep it in your mouth, yeah. and you want to spray exactly yeah. how you're spraying the water. Oh, there you go, baby! Woo! 
If you pause that, like a freeze frame, it looks like you spit fire. Now that I could blow fire, it was time for the real stunt. I was getting quite worried about it, but for Mike, this was just another day at the office. Don't F yourself like the car one. Do you want me to park it? No, I'll do it. Why did it help? I'm sorry. Remember what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to do it with no helmet? No helmet. That's pretty safe. Right? Ah, almost got it. We get a running start. Oh, fuck. Your job is to just blow fire at me, so I ignite. Got it, so from right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Once you blow that fireball, he's going up quick. It's that moment. It's hard to describe it in words unless you do it. You're completely engaged in that moment. I'm lit. I'm lit, baby! You're on fire. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, I am making it to that water one way or another. Addicted to doing things that scare me. That scared me. Just a little bit. How are you feeling right now, Mike? I should have stayed on fire longer. Crazy Mike's stunt was pure poetry, and I was proud to have played a small part in its success. Thanks for blowing me. And while I was basking in my little adrenaline high, I talked more with JJ, the leader of POR, about what he loves about doing stunts. You know, after I'd done something crazy that it probably should have messed me up and I stood up, walked away from it, that feeling's like priceless to me. Probably like five of the best moments of my life have been a stunt I did, you know? It's really like goals too. Like I'll have stunts on my list that I want to do for like a year or two and I'm like scared to do it. And then once I accomplish it, it's like a, a feeling that is priceless. It's the best way to put it. I feel like stunts have helped me, made me like not so afraid. I've, I'm always like, well, if I walk up and talk to a chick, it's not going to be that, it's not going to be that hard as getting lit on fire, you know? How could it be that hard, you know? Like if you do something wild, what is, a job interview compared to like lighting yourself on fire, it's nothing. So what's this next uh, stunt? So right role? now I'm uh, constructing a triple nutshot contraption. I don't even know what do we call it, triple nutshot contraption. So basically it's gonna be two eight foot beams with three eight foot across. So he's gonna backflip through three layers of two by fours. Who's gonna do that? Craig. Craig has not done this stunt since 2012 when he knocked himself out cold while doing it. Yeah. Craig. Yeah. Craig. Yeah. Craig. Yeah. After that stunt, it kind of messed me up a little bit for a while. I, it, it freaked me out to do stunts in general. It took me a couple years to officially announce I'm back for good and do stunts all the time. So I'm hyped about it. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Once you have the itch, you have it for life. A lot of these guys, you know, have gotten hurt and they say they're done and then they'll be back. It's a weird little bug, you know. Adrenaline, I guess. I guess that's what you call it. Craig couldn't resist the pull of adrenaline, but it was clear his knockout from over 10 years ago still haunted him. Are you confident today? I'm trying to be as confident as I can be. Since he was quite unsure about doing the stunt, his fellow stuntman Kyler offered to play a game of rock, paper, scissors to determine who would be the flipper. Winner or loser does it? The loser should do it, right? Yeah. So, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> so you just got out of it. Oh shit, dude, you got lucky. And now you're gonna take over. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about it. Are you kind of getting hyped at all? Or are you kind of, you seem really mellow. Hey. I've been doing this for like 11 years now, so it's just kind of like, kind of numb to it all. It's <laughs> fucked up. All right, you guys ready? Sorry, one sec. Safety first. Oh, that was sick! That was sick! Are you feeling a rush of adrenaline? I, I, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've done this before for so long. I'm kind of like, all right, it's another day of work. But no, I mean, I feel good. I'm kind of bummed I didn't break through all of them. 
finish it off. He finished it off. Oh! How are you feeling now? Some time has passed. I feel pretty normal, honestly. I feel exactly like I did before. Maybe if I would have broke through all three, I would have been a little more satisfied. We'll, we'll, find it. we'll, we'll find catch it. you out there. We'll yeah. we'll find your uh, perfect dose of adrenaline. Oh! This is the same device that you just lit. This one's actually bigger. His name was Tim and doing stunts was his passion. Once I started doing it, I couldn't stop doing it. The feeling you get from doing it is unparalleled to anything else on this earth. So it's almost like you get addicted. Yeah. You get like a, 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 a drug. Tim nearly overdosed on his drug of choice one time. He inhaled fire, which put him in a coma for 30 days. Thankfully, he made it out okay and is still getting adrenaline wherever he can find it. If I'm at work and I see something like, oh, I like that, you know, I'll buy it later and smash it smashed over me or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, like so it, I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and light this All mortar right. that's uh, very close to your uh, balls and uh, see what sort of adrenaline rush this gets us. Bro. What's scarier than a lit mortar taped to your crotch? A lit mortar taped to your crotch that isn't going off, but could go off at any second. I don't know, man. I don't know. It still feels hot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. All right. By the tape, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away, away from the crowd. All right, we got another one? Yeah, right here. Right. Hey, this is a much bigger one. All right, round two. Yep, it's lit. Oh, yeah, that's going. Oh. It's going. Oh, my God. Wow! 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 Yeah! Oh, my God. Look at jeans. It melted my leg. Oh my god. Oh, you burnt a little bit? Just a little bit. Was it worth it? Yes, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. And you still have your balls there, which is good. Yep. Even though Tim's balls were still intact, the burns he sustained were quite worrisome. Medic! Tim just got blown up. <laughs> we got a me we got a medic on site. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, it's just pant leg melted into it. Is that good that it's the pants? So it'd be no. worse if it wasn't pants? That's worse that it's the pants? That's worse that it's the pants. Yeah. Because I can't clean it. Mm -hmm. So the factor of infection just exponentially increased. What do you think he should do? He could probably chill for a bit? Uh, no, he needs to see a physician. But the show must go on. Yeah, I, I, I got to see here for the rest of it. I'm not leaving now. That's, that would be just, no, <laughs> not doing it. What on the scale of like one to 10, like where are you on adrenaline? Like a 25. Whether it was adrenaline or just plain shock, Tim was definitely shaken up by the mortar. Unfortunately, the medic quit. I'm out. I can't put my life in the line for what y'all are doing here. And while we waited for a new one to show up, the unofficial medic of the group took over. I just want to be ready for anything. It's and like, completely like unofficial, but I do what I can to help them immediately. Sometimes it's hard to get there. And I mean, like... even with Tim here, we'll just monitor him. If he needs to go to the hospital, we'll take him. Obviously, their well-being is at least my first priority. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. What are you going to end up ultimately doing with this potato in the end? Uh, we're going to, uh, Carson's going to hold a, a panel of glass in his hands like this, and we're going to shoot the potato can at him. Where's the potato going to end up? I'm going to aim a little low. I am going to say that. I feel like all of these stunts in some way or another all lead back to someone getting hit in the nuts. Did I hit you in the dick? What a maniac. Bro. How are you feeling, man? How are you feeling right now? Oh my god. Whoa. That's going to be a big bruise. So what kind of rush are you feeling right now? I just feel like an adrenaline rush, like anything else I do, whether I do a high fall, I go catch an alligator, <laughs> I drive fast. Also, I, I hate being afraid of shit. 
So I like to overcome my fears, and like that was scary, and I just overcame it. So are you able to apply that to everyday life, like overcoming these barriers? Talking to girls, going for job interviews, that shit's scary. You know, you have to do it. That's how a stunt work, you know? Fuck yeah. It seemed like people who were drawn to doing stunts were also specifically scared of talking to girls and going on job interviews. And then there was Kyler, who couldn't feel anything. How are you feeling for this one? <laughs> the same. Kyler was gearing up to jump off of the roof, covered in lit firecrackers. Horrifying for most people, but for him, it hardly even moved the needle. While Kyler was getting ready, his girlfriend told me more about his attraction to doing stunts. He's two years sober. For the outside eye, it seems crazy that this is a better substitute, you know? But this kind of fills in a void of like excitement and adrenaline and, and something that you really love that's healthier. I know it doesn't seem healthier, but healthier. Do you get a rush from watching him jump? Um, I don't know about that. Do you get nervous for me? I get a little nervous, maybe right before. I care, but like I've seen you do a lot of this stuff before. Like that's not his first time wrapping himself in firecrackers. It's not his first time jumping off a roof. Let's do this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hell the yeah. Enthusiasm's through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just seem numb to it all, but still, Kinda. but still enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Uh, got it. Thank you. Hey guys, get up close and personal for this. Show them some love. It's gonna be a chaos clip. I don't care. It was quite incredible what Kyler did, but it didn't seem to give him much of the feeling he wanted. While he searched for something that scared him, I had the opposite problem. Ooh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> The guys decided that it was my turn to jump off the roof, and I was spooked. I'll do a little one. That'll be, that'll be easy. That'll be fun. You got that. It's super easy. I mean, right? How do you feel yeah. about it? Seems chill yeah, in the yeah. little one. Yeah. The more we talked about it, the less chill the stunt seemed. If you land feet first, then you could break your leg. Just don't land on your feet or your butt or your lower back. Or your neck. But if you land like yeah. sitting straight up at like a 90 degree, your You'll spine okay. will compress. Doesn't yeah, you're going to get whiplash. <laughs> All right. Everyone could tell I was freaking out. So to hype me up, Crazy Mike decided he was going to jump off the roof while holding an umbrella. So don't do what you're doing. No. I'm Mary Poppins, bitch! So that was kind of nerve wracking because uh, Mike kind of missed the boxes, which is, uh, Certainly making me a little nervous about this because if he missed the boxes, who's to say I'm not going to miss the boxes? Because he's literally, you know, professional. Hey, Josh, you gotta say for the boys when you jump. All right, for the boys. So I'm certainly feeling a little bit shaky right now. This is my first time doing a stunt of this nature. Um, certainly nervous, kind of sweating a little bit. Thank you. All right, for the boys. Boys! Fuck. Got it. Got it. Fuck. <laughs> no matter how badly I wanted to jump, there was just something stopping me every time I approached the edge. You got this. Yes. <laughs> but then I thought about all the other stunts that were done today. Sure, they were risky, but that's exactly what made them so exciting. No pain, no gain. You can be a better man! All right, for the boys. Yeah! 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 All right, I'm glad I got that over with. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I did that. I was considering not, I'm really glad I did. You've been asking us questions all day. So yeah. We got one question for you. How does it feel to be one of the fucking boys? How does it feel, Taji, to be one of the fucking boys? Feels fucking yeah. awesome. I'm glad boy. that I did that. A Thank you. Boy. All right. It certainly did feel great to face my fears and be one of the boys. I couldn't get too comfortable, though, because next up were the car stunts. 
and Mike decided that before I got behind the wheel, he needed to ensure that we would not have a repeat of what happened last time. Thanks for, you know, having me back to redeem myself after kind of messing up your stunt show. Back it up. All of you guys get in the car and follow me up this way. Were you like fucking playing a joke? <laughs> no, it's just how I am. I get that a lot. <laughs> like what, you were not packing up good. You don't know how much work it took us to get that car to Ohio <laughs> and how many stunts we had planned and you ruined it. <laughs> so you guys were not happy? No. Here today, we don't have any cops. We're gonna <laughs> give you a second chance. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. Redeem. Redemption yeah, redeem. That's why you're Redemption here today. Time. Thank you. It is. It's exactly why I'm here today. So let's put the past behind us and work on Thank it right you. now. Well, thanks for the second chance. I just got a kiss from Mike. It kisses nice. everybody. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the next stunt, Craig was going to do the same one we had planned at the gathering before the cops shut us down. And because I messed that one up so badly, the guys didn't want me anywhere near it. So I hung tight until my driving skills were needed. Oh, how are you feeling after that? How are you feeling after that? Oh, dude, it's fucking amazing, man. I'm so hyped. You went fast. Yeah, this is your best one I think ever. Holy shit. The first time that we ever did this stunt, it was like two years ago, and we had this stunt planned out for probably nine years. And the first time I did it, dude, it made me the happiest I've ever felt in my entire life. Craig almost made it look too easy. So instead of the car hitting just one guy on the ladder, how about three guys? And what if there was another guy on top of the car? These adrenaline junkies stop at nothing to get their fix. It's bad. It's medic. Dude, the ladder's not carried with the car. Fuck. I'm gonna yeah, get you are. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't got medical insurance anyway, but they have to take care of you. They do. They do. I probably have over $2 million of bills, so I'll just add it to that list. The ladder's flying. That's what hits you, dude. Oh, that second ladder hit you. Fuck, that's a good shot. It wasn't the best omen to come right before my big redemption. It's a whole but I couldn't let Mike's injury shake me because this next stunt required me to be absolutely perfect. Since nothing Kyler did today gave him a rush, you seem really mellow. I'm kind of numb to it all. It's fucked up. Let's do this. <laughs> he needed to up the ante, and the plan was simple. He wanted me to drive a car straight into him while going 15 miles per hour. Are you good to drive a car for real? Yeah. Can I trust you? Yeah. I'll hit that speed limit you need me to hit. Drive it like you would go, like drive a car, if you drive cars. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. So no, I, I do. See that pine tree? That yeah. That smaller pine tree and then the other tree? You're going between that. So I don't have to reverse again. Let's do a test run for you, a drive yes. for you to go and you can get your speed. Yeah, yeah. And how are you uh, feeling right now? I'm getting nervous the closer we get to doing it, but it's like, I'm more excited. Like, I'm like, this is gonna be sick. I haven't done it like a cool stunt like this in a while. So like, I think this will be good. The fact that Kyler was finally truly scared for something made me realize how dangerous the stunt really was. All right, test run. Was that 15? Hopefully, I wasn't really looking at it. We'll have to go back and ask them. Maybe. Should I just reverse it all the way now? Driving forward was easy for me. It was driving backwards that was the problem. And everyone watching me back up the car to its starting position seemed to know that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, here we Why go we again. Back up? I can't see out this back window. Can't even see out the back of this fuck. Keep going back. A little more. You can't back a car up for shit. Keep going. Sorry, I just can't see out the window. You were not backing up good. Back like you drove before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, do you want me to back it up and get it ready for you again? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Just because I can't see out the thing. You're and I'm having fan. some, uh, you know, flashbacks and whatnot. Yeah. Thank you. Yet again, I had failed to complete the simple task of backing up a car. 
He ain't even kidding. He's actually sucks at driving. Yeah, he's really, really bad. Was it 15? I almost, I think I was at like 15, 16. If I wanted to keep my status as one of the boys, I needed to completely ace the forward driving portion of this stunt. But yeah, I feel like that was like around 15. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, the windows are a little bit dirty, but I still did it a lot better than he did. All right, you, she let me know when. In that moment, I wondered, was Kyler dead? Is that okay? I might have gone too fast. Is he okay? But in fact, it was actually the opposite. Kyler was finally alive. Are you okay, man? Oh my God. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was, that was pretty perfect. Yeah, I might have gone a little faster. Sorry, I got kind of nervous. Was that was the one, huh? That was solid. I'm glad it went well. Right Thank there. you. That was amazing, though. You were quite Everything the Everything uh, is stunt. telling me to get out of the way of that fucking car and, and you just didn't. stay there. And then to hear the engine rev faster, even doing like the stunts I did earlier, you know, that was didn't peak my adrenaline, but that was like, yeah. I could feel my heart just no. pounding out of my chest. I can't give a logical reason why I do this. I'm just like fucked up, but like I feel great. So I do too. Thank you. I thought I might kill you, like potentially, <laughs> really? and then I'm like, but th and then I'm a murderer. I was just trying to think, like just manslaughter. Yeah, that's what they call it. It couldn't have gone better. I wouldn't be charged with manslaughter, and Kyler finally got the adrenaline high he was looking for. Thank you, thank you for thank, surviving thank you, that. Man. Call them stupid, call them crazy, but you can't help but admire these guys for never allowing their fear to control them. We all have things in our life that we're scared to do, and fear may keep us safe but it also keeps us from experiencing new things. And adrenaline is the beautiful feeling we get when we conquer that fear. While I don't think I'll choose to get hit by a car anytime soon, the POR attitude of never letting fear win is something that will stay with me forever. So thank you, POR Stunts, for helping me get one step closer to becoming a better man. Does it hurt really bad? Oh god, it hurts really bad. It's also swollen, so it runs into this now. Holy shit. You gotta see his too. With Ooh. Bubbles. And... It just goes like all the way around. That might have looked quite shocking, those injuries, but uh, luckily it was well worth it. <laughs>